Okay, so we have Earl Grey tea, wonderful. That's easy enough. Okay. I've always wondered if it was like an insult to put, you know, the bit that has the label. Yeah, that I wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have done that. No. Because obviously, because you, you now you've got the ink from the label sort of seeping into the hot water and stuff. What's weird is I didn't do that for myself. No, it's interesting. Though, I know. It? Weird or a sign that you care less about my tea than your own? I think once you said Earl Grey, I think I already started caring less. So okay, prob fine. probably that. The budget is crazy for this. So look what we've done for you, bro. Not only do we have oh a mug. Oh my God. We have a biscuit with your face on it. Mate, what do you think? I have actually sort of buzzing. Can I? Yeah, go for it, bro. It looks great, right? It looks okay. just like me. This is mine, which looks... Yours looks less like you. Yeah, yeah mine looks like a kind of like 50-year-old version. That looks like a, like a crime watch e-fit. Yeah. Sort but... of generic black guy. Probably, exactly. Probably did it. <laughs> but with very nice, warm eyes. I feel like after that guy robbed the building society, I'd like to hang out with him. I'm glad, well, <laughs> that person's me. Um, yeah, so Ramesh, what I want to talk to you about today is basically hip hop and also just roots. You have a podcast called Hip Hop Saved My Life. Yeah. I've watched um, a lot of your your phenomenal TV work and you're always alluding to like hip hop and I think you used to MC as well back in the day. Yeah. So what was your rap name? Ranga, the Lazy Yard Assassin. Rang Ranga, the Lazy Yard Assassin? Ranga was the sort of, uh, well, actually, when I was a little kid, mm -hmm. um, I was obsessed with NWA. Yeah. And so I called myself Ice Tray. I really loved Ice Cube. Yeah. And I really liked Ice Tea. Yeah. And I thought, what could I call myself that's sort of ice related? Ingenious. And so Ice Tray. That's amazing. Thank I, you. I think I think Ranga. I, I wish think, I hadn't said that out loud now. Yeah, I've, all, all of it I, <laughs> I wish you hadn't said out loud. But all right, if we're talking about roots, then Ramesh, do you care to explain this photo here? That bears all the hallmarks of somebody who's regularly bullied, I realise that. But, <laughs> but um, if you sort of compare, that's what I thought was good. And that's what you thought was good. Yeah, and I've already got like some sort of hand gesture going yeah. on. If but you said we... oh, that guy will go on to host a hip hop podcast, you wouldn't believe it. That guy goes on to become a rapper, yeah, I believe that. I get you. That guy goes on to die a virgin, yeah, I believe that. So MC Ranga or Ranga or Ice Tray, yeah. basically what I want us to do is, is imagine that none of us ever rapped, right? Okay. And we I'd like, just... I like to imagine that. Anyway. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want us to draw what we think our very first mixtapes would have been. We're still dreaming and we're 12 years old and we're like, okay, cool. One day I'm going to be a rapper and this is what my mixtape's going to be like. Okay. So, um, bro, how did you um, how did you come up with your name? So, MC Ranga. It sounds Sri Lankan. Yeah, well, it's from my surname, Ranganathan. Yeah, okay, there we go. And then I just thought Ranga rhymes with a lot of stuff. Yeah, like Ranga. Ranga, Ranga the banger. Ranga's dropped a clanger. Yeah. Uh, Ranga's a fan of the Wu Tanger. It doesn't really work. No. Um, ra I've run out. I can't believe I've run out of them. Ranga. Yeah, so um, have I. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't rhyme with loads of stuff. It actually doesn't. Right? Uh, so what's to do with your name? You, you're changing your name, right? Yeah. How did first of all, how did Tiny Temper come about? So it was just literally like a nickname. It's we, we, just... Did you throw little strops and stuff when you were a kid? I think it was more like a kind of like juxtaposition. It was more like okay, cool. And one when you see him outside of a uh, musical context, yeah. he's very calm and just relaxed and chilled. Yeah. But when he's spitting bars or whatever, there's yeah. like a different side, like an alter ego. Yeah. I don't feel like that anymore. And literally, like over the past couple of years of my life, I've like, matured a little bit more. Not to say that that name was immature, but... Yeah, you make it into like a relaunch thing? Um, It's just like, I just changed my name, bro. I just dropped the temper off of it. That would be a good song, though. Drop the temper or something. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't really think musically, I don't really think your ideas are, have been that strong. We've only heard one idea. It's, it's, but it, I heard, it feels unfair to dismiss my entire... No, but when we were rhyming Ranga and when yeah. he was like telling me, even just the name MC Ranga... I, I mean, I couldn't think of stuff, but there was also a 45 second pause when you were trying to think of something. Right? Yeah, because your name was MC Ranga. What's wrong with that? Let's just, because it's getting Ranga quite the tense. Banger. This is meant to be... An, Ranga's this... gonna bang ya. <laughs> So what were you like at school then? Right? Um, I had really goofy teeth at the beginning, like really goofy teeth. Thank God, you know, got some braces on the NHS and sorted that all out. And then I kind of became a little bit of like a ladies man for a while. So what did it, was it like an instant transformation? Like one day- It was a three year. One day you're eating apples for a tennis racket and then the next day, <laughs> 
you're an absolute dumb. It didn't feel like that to me. It was more over a, a, a period of years. I think I kind of discovered rap music around that stage. So there was like loads of youth clubs where all this stuff was already happening. So people was going there and doing freestyles and M MC and all that kind of stuff. Right. I kind of put a little crew together. I think the first crew I put together was called Magic Circle or okay. something because I was obsessed with magic and I think there was enough of us to make a circle. It was a very stupid reason. I was very mm. young. What, what was, how did your rap career start? Okay, um, there's no career. <laughs> Let me just be crystal clear about that. What happened basically? Well, I was just obsessed with hip hop. Yeah. So obsessed with it. Right? So I started doing mixtapes. Mm -hmm. uh, we started putting mixtapes out of Horsham. I remember one of the lyrics I did was, um, I bring, I bring the butter, you know this ain't the margarine. I'm quick to clean up the scene like my name was MC Windowlean. Nice. Thank you. I'm in your face like the mace up from the canister. My lyrics bring the pain like testicles hitting on banisters. It's a bit of a weird, <laughs> it's a bit of a weird image. How old are you when you was writing this stuff? Uh, 36. So what did you do before you were a, a musician? Um, before I was a musician, I sold double glazing. So I was in the area of telly cells. Oh, that was so awful. So talk man. me through, like imagine, let's do the call now. So I'm I'd just like, home, oh. vulnerable. So I've had like, some sort of inheritance. I don't really know what to do with the money. Yeah. And, and so you've targeted me as a potential yeah. customer. So you're yeah, the okay. one. So I'll tell I know you. how these companies work. Go on. I say, um, so Hello? hi there. Is this, um, is this Mr. Ramesh? Yes. Uh, how are you today, sir? Good, thank you. Who am I speaking to? Um, you're speaking to Tiny. I'm just calling you on behalf of um, Supremo Glaze. Supremo Glaze? Yes. So basically what it is, is that we've basically checked in your area and we've realised that um, there's an issue with a lot of uh, the, the windows. If, who, who's, who checked my area? Um, uh, one of our experts at Supremo Glaze. Could what? I just ask? No, sorry. but what have they been doing? Have they just been driving around looking at people's houses? Um, yeah, I believe, I believe so. Something so what, along... you just sent someone round to my area, just looking in their, what, in their windows? Um, yeah, something along those lines. Okay. But I just wanted to ask you, Mr. Romesh, do you have single glaze windows or double glaze? Well, surely you can ask one of your spies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's single glaze. It's single glaze. Yes. Okay, awesome. We can send someone to come and pay a visit to you okay. when, 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 you're when I'm in, there. Whenever okay. there's an available yeah. time. How right? come you're not doing this? Are you on a, hands, are you on a headset? Um, I, it's, I, I'm, I had to stop painting because of this, and you're continuing. I, 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 I'm just going to on on, yeah, yeah, put you on speakerphone. Put me on speakerphone. Do you know what? I'll tell you what you have got. What? Quite a reassuring voice. You sound like somebody I'd love to be glazed by. Good. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know what that means, but I'll take it as a compliment. Double glaze as well, by the way, not Double, a single. Ex oh, single oh. glaze, and then I'll see it come back for another one. Thank you, Ramesh. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> right, Ramesh, I think we're done, bro. I think it's time to show the world what we've been working on. I think Ramesh's one is way better. So, so that is, uh, that's Ranga across mm -hmm. the top. And what I've gone for is my hair is going up. Mm-hmm to display the name. I've never, I mean, it suggests that I've got an afro, but I don't, I never had done. Mm -hmm. But I just thought it's like a, the imagery of it. It's good, oh. I like the colours, I like the colours that you, you like use the colors. for That's rapper. what you say to a, that's what you say to no, a. No, <laughs> no, no, that's no. Your, that, that, You know what I, that, I know that technique. What you're saying is, what, what you've done is shit, but well done for holding the pen. Let's see yours. All right, here we go. Again, not my greatest work, but. Have I you heard of body dysmorphia? Yes, and I, I think I suffer from that. Mm. Because I think when I was younger, I was uh, like obsessed with like being muscly. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> I think I should get extra points for trying to use the glitter glue because I basically used that. I to didn't make... realize we were getting points for using more of the stuff. In which case, I would have used all of this. I didn't realize that. Oh. Because if okay. you want to do it on that, you've only used like three I'm, colors. Sorry, bro. I'm just super competitive, so I'm always just trying yeah. to win at everything. I don't mind you being competitive, but be competitive at something you're actually winning at. Because I've used more paint than you. So if you get a point for every colour, you've used gold, brown and black. Look at this shit. It's like Joseph's Technicolor dream coat, what I've done. That's what I was saying. All right, fine, you win in that respect. But yeah, this is basically just um, me, but very muscular for some weird yeah. reason. I actually prefer yours. Is it? Do you want to have it? No. You... Ramesh, thank you so much, bro, for joining, man. It was so fun. Thanks you for You get to me. keep the mug, you thank get you. to keep the biscuit. Cool. We get to keep the pictures. Can I just, I, I just want to, I'm really, it's been a really good afternoon with you. Yeah. I, I would like to speak to whoever <laughs> thought this was a decent likeness of you. But, um, but what yeah. I would say is, this looks more like you than that picture. <laughs> <laughs>